Good morning, YouTube. This is an MFJ 1622 from 2 to 40 meters um, adjustable antenna for apartments. It's good for uh, camping and mobile and everything. Um, I got this out of storage so I wanted to pull it out and put it on the apartment here. I got this in, in April of 07. It cost me 100 bucks, 99.99. I used it for a while, left it outside, and moved on to different things. The problem I didn't like about it is you had to have a big coax here uh, and make like an air ballum out of it. We'll do that later. It's got a uh, an antenna that's collapsible, so you put that up residence. I got tape on there now to hold the washer on. But basically, I'm gonna rebuild this today. Let me set this over here. I can get that out of my way. This was set up for a long time at my other apartment. Basically, if you look at this, you got a coil on here, which is going to have to definitely be taken off on this one. Wow, lighting's bad. But I'm going to have to sand all these down to get a better contact. This definitely is a short that needs to be replaced. It's rusted shut, but it used to go on there for the coil taps. And on top, I'm going to have to clean this whole thing up. And then I'll actually go over it. It's got a uh, uh, 33, I think, a full wave for 40 meters uh, wire. And this is all UV damage now, as you can see. It was all, it was all originally black. Uh, let it sit outside, things. i got to replace the coax or change it out. Because it looks like water probably got into that coax. You know, it looks a little green there, which you guys can't really see. But it looks a little green. And UV damage. So if water got in there, it's gonna be all messed up and kind of uh, corroded. So I'll probably cut it off around here or something, redo it all, put electrical, uh, liquid electrical tape on it, to reseal it up. So let me go ahead and get this thing cleaned up, and then we'll talk about it. I'm gonna hang it outside the apartment here in the back, uh, probably over the door. It's got a lot of mounting positions on it. I'll probably put it in there like like this and mount that to the door. There's a piece that goes on there which is needs to be cleaned but it's a uh, I can get it oh wrong way it's a little clamp that goes through and clamps on things compression clamp in here I'll hold it on the door like that and I'll put the antenna up here facing upward but let's get that cleaned up and then I'll move it over the table and show you what we got and see how we're gonna do things all right I'll be right back <coughs> Okay, I went ahead and sanded that. It's apparently copper. <laughs> so I went ahead and cleaned that up. And I only need a section cleaned here just for the clamp, which I'm going to replace here in a minute. I also went ahead and snipped the coax off because I think there might have been water inclusion into it. So I went back to a, a good spot here, and then I'll go ahead and attach this to the coax there and wire it up. And then I'll replace... Uh, this with a, a better wire maybe or at least cut the wire back and get a different clamp on there because that uh that tap is really destroyed okay i'll be back when i'm done with that okay as you can see i went ahead and put the liquid tape on there and waterproofed everything on there and redid it got a bend cable there oh well and reset everything up and waterproofed everything and all coax leads and uh sure there i put a little I'll get a clamp on there. I'm going to leave this thing set for 40 meters and just tune it up with my um, with my auto tuner or a regular tuner depending on what I'm doing. I'll never use this thing in 2 meters which would be where you clip it on the top. But still I wanted the option so I went ahead and did that. The alligator clamp's a little big but there we go. That's okay. I don't care. So there we go. That's um, all done now. Now let me go ahead and uh, I gotta coil up a certain amount of um, coax here to make an air coil for this. I'll have to look that up and see what it is. And we'll go ahead and make it a perfect circle. I think it's 10 inch circle, maybe 18 feet or something like that of coax. And then I'll, I'll put in zip ties and make it all purdy. 
and then we'll go ahead and install this outside and see how it works and we'll get some uh, stations going here. okay we started 18 inches back from the, the antenna we did a coil choke we took 30 feet of coax and rolled it up into an air choke this should give us a one-to-one -one, uh, bell one I guess and that'll what that'll do is force all the energy to actually radiate out the antenna and not radiate from the coil and it gives us about 18 feet left of usable antenna coax so there was that real quick now I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this and put it together all right I got on a tripod out here I'm gonna raise it up just a little bit higher but I want to show you there the antennas up here outside I'm gonna set up the ground plane which is right here are the counterpoise I'm sorry what's here I'm gonna say I got this thing set for 40 meters which is pretty much where I run it mostly I'll raise this up you know a little bit more here once I open this up there we go got the coax just hanging on there I'll raise it up one at a time and um, I'll stretch this out you know in the property somewhere here and uh, we'll go in there and try it out on 40 meters and see if we get any contacts and then I can tune it the tuner down to 20 if I need to but we'll see all right okay as you can see we're getting Pennsylvania in on the radio here so obviously the antenna is working it's a very nice antenna that's the MFJ uh, apartment antenna I'll annotate the uh, the number on it I think it's a 1622 2 to 40 meters on 40 meter band so there it is um, it works really good so there we go All right. um, okay.